finding that you have fantastic music, but no one's listening, you're not alone. There are plenty of artists with high quality music that no one's listening to. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you three ways that you can promote your music in 2023. You want to be able to release music and wake up on release day with streams, with your DMs full of fans telling you how amazing the song is. And in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. And this video is for those who want to take action. They want to see the results. And this isn't just based off random information. This is based off experience from a marketing agency that's worked with the likes of Universal Music, Sony Music, as well as independent artists, but also data, trends that we've seen from working in the music industry, as well as information we've heard from major booking agents, management, and major labels. So all of this information isn't just random predictions, it's based on facts. And I also have a little bonus tip at the end of this video. So I'll give three tips on how you can promote your music going into 2023. And the final one is one that I haven't heard anyone talking about and it's definitely one that if you jump on early you can ensure you are ahead of the game you are getting there before every other artist is the first way that you can be promoting your music in 2023 is tiktok and no i'm not just going to say make sure your music's on there and make sure you're posting i'm going to give you tips that you can implement immediately so this is how you get a huge audience on tiktok get your music heard buy millions and really take advantage of the platform. If you don't have a TikTok account, you need to make one. It's a platform with over a billion users and it's a sound on platform. So it's basically made for musicians. We've worked with artists that have implemented our strategies and literally gained over 250,000 followers within a matter of weeks. The growth potential is huge. So if you are just starting out on TikTok, one thing that I definitely recommend doing is creating a burner account. So make an account on TikTok that you're never gonna post on and follow all accounts that inspire you. Now, every time you want to go on TikTok to take in content, use this account. It will fill your feed with content that's gonna be inspiring for you. It's gonna show you what trending sounds are out there, what other musicians are doing that's working well. And you can use this account to really find your feet a bit. In these early stages, you do want to make sure you're creating shorter form content because it's all about watch time. You want to ensure that people are staying on your videos for as long as possible. So if the video is shorter, they're likely to watch it the whole way through. So stick with 15 second videos to begin with. And from here, you can grow it and grow it and grow it. There are plenty of ways to go viral on TikTok, but you want to ensure it always comes back to the music and that it's music focused because there's no point going viral if it's just a dog or you jumping into a swimming pool. You want it to be surrounding your music. So find your feet with this, find what your theme is. And some really simple things can just be covers, performance videos. Put your own unique twist on things. And as long as it's framed correctly, it looks aesthetically pleasing and the audio is high quality, it will perform well. As well as this, take advantage of TikTok's features. You have stitches, you have duets. You can reply to comments with a video. So if someone comments saying, oh my God, this song is so good, can you do this? You reply to it with a video of you doing it. Also, make sure you're using the hashtags. Hashtags are something which most artists don't really take advantage of or really think about. You see them just using a hashtag like their artist name or the song name. This isn't going to help you. The hashtags need to be fitting to what your theme is, so songwriter, covers, and what that specific video is about because those hashtags will make sure you hit the For You page and are reaching the right people. Every time you use a hashtag, it will show you how popular it is. So ensure you're going for popular ones because it means that people are using those hashtags and watching them. The final actionable tip that I want to give you for TikTok is increase your watch time. I said this at the beginning, you have to increase your watch time because if people are watching and then engaging, they are going to push that video out to more and more people. It's like Spotify. They'll test it with a small group on Discover Weekly. If it does well, they'll put it on more Discover Weeklies. TikTok does the same, but with the For You page. So you need to increase watch time and there are a few sneaky little hacks that you can use to do this. One, put things on the screen. So as an artist, that can be your lyrics. If people are spending the time reading something, they're more likely to keep watching it. Some of the most viral videos on TikTok from musicians have been kind of sneaky. So they put loads of text on the screen. So you have to read it and the video replays while you're reading it. That means it's got a high watch time. Or they'll insert something like, did you see that? And then you'll replay the video to see if you miss something. Another simple thing is a series. So you do a video and it ends with come back for part two. They'll go across to your profile, they'll follow you, they'll engage with the content because they want to see the next part. As an artist, this could be the songwriting process. As long as your TikTok account is engaging, 
entertaining, interesting, but also on brand, it will create fans and not just viewers. Finding things that work on TikTok can be incredibly difficult, especially if you're trying to find the trends on TikTok because they are constantly changing. So we at Burstimo have created a membership which offers artists a ton of things. And one of these things is the trends on social media. Weekly, we upload a PDF with all the information about what's trending on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and things that you can jump on board with before everyone else to ensure that you take advantage of that viral trend. As well as this, the platform has a ton of other things, such as a contact database full of influencers on TikTok and Instagram that you can reach out to, resources like how you can write a press release, how you can write an EPK, and the most amazing one, which we've seen tons of artists taking advantage of, is opportunities that arise for us that we want to be able to offer to artists. We've seen artists getting placed on playlists with up to 100,000 followers, premieres on blogs like Wonderland, and all you have to do is submit. So if you want to be a member, make sure to click the link in the description and you can go explore it and join us there. The second way to promote your music going into 2023 is having a solid release strategy. You're probably thinking, what does my release strategy have to do with my promotion? A lot. The way the that way you release your music massively impacts the marketing. It massively impacts how you can promote it. So years ago, you would release a vinyl, a cassette, everything came out in albums. Now, due to digital streaming platforms, you have to be releasing singles. And when I talk about release strategy, I'm not just gonna be talking about singles, EPs. I'm going to explain to you the pre and post release things that you can be doing, which really ensure you're taking advantage of that release. So like I said, singles all the way. If you're releasing singles instead of a full album, you can promote that to blogs, you can promote that to influencers, you can promote it on TikTok, you can submit to Spotify's editors on Spotify for Artists. You can take advantage of all these things. If you drop it as a full album, there were what? 10 songs on there that you could have done full marketing campaigns around. So singles all the way, and if you do want to release an EP or an album, you definitely can, but release singles in the lead up tell that story and then drop the product at the end. One thing that artists aren't doing enough now is playing it by ear. And that sounds kind of strange because you'd think that you need to have a solid plan in place to ensure that you can get the most listens possible. However, due to the nature of social media now and digital streaming platforms, a song can explode overnight, especially going into 2023 where there are gonna be more people on TikTok than ever. You can release a song and two weeks later, it's in the charts, it's gone viral. So if you had a solid release strategy in place, which you are not gonna budge on, you could be releasing a song when your other one's going viral and you're taking the attention away from it. So play it by ear. If you have a track, it does well, milk it for as long as you possibly can. Then once you've been a month or so, you can release your next track. Distribution nowadays means that you can literally have a track on Spotify within 24 hours. So there's no need to stress and there's no need to focus so heavily on this timeline when really you never know what's gonna happen on release day, especially if you're doing the pre-release work. A great example of this is Sam Smith, Unholy. They went heavy on TikTok promotion and that song was viral. I mean, millions of people were using it and listening to it before it even dropped. So by the time it came out, everyone knew it. It was on the radio and people could sing along immediately. So if you think you have a song that can actually do well on platforms, don't be afraid to share it pre-release. When doing an interview with Chloe Adams, who's a viral artist from TikTok, she said she released one of her songs on TikTok only. It went viral. She hadn't even finished the song yet. But when she did and she released it, there was such a huge audience waiting for it that immediately it got tons of streams. And you can do exactly the same. If you see potential in it, Take it to TikTok, take it to other platforms where you think it can grow, gain attention, so when you drop it, people come flooding in. And Spotify will reward you for this. If they see that people are coming to the platform because of your song, they will put you on playlists. My final tip for the release strategy side is really focus on that narrative. There are 100,000 songs uploaded to Spotify every single day. That is absolutely absurd. So you need to stand out. And yes, the quality of the music needs to be high, but I'm sure you know that. You know that your music has to be good and you're working on that. But the best way to engage people is to let them in. Tell them the story. And pop artist Fletcher did this perfectly with her release, Girl of My Dreams. Pre-release, she told this narrative of what the album was going to be about. And then every song that she released in the lead up unraveled that story a bit more. People were hooked. And this is something that any artist can do because there's a narrative behind every single song. Finally, the third tip, how you can promote your music going into 2023. And this is one that's gonna shock a lot of you because if you follow our channel, you'll know that we kind of said, don't focus on this anymore, but it's back. 
and you do need to be focusing on it, and that's Instagram. I never thought I'd say it. I never thought I'd say that artists need to be back on Instagram and pushing harder than ever, but here I am. This year, Reels has become huge, and going into 2023, it's only going to get bigger. We're seeing more creators on there, we're seeing Instagram push it out more, and in 2023, they're gonna continue to do this heavily. The only thing that's changed in the past few years is Instagram is no longer about the quantity. It's more about the quality. They are looking at how much engagement you're getting on stories, on your feed, on your reels. So it's an engagement focused platform. So you need to tailor your content to this. Instead of posting once a day on your feed, look at how you can post less but higher quality. We found Instagram to be incredibly impactful for the music industry in general. If you go into a Spotify playlist right now, an editorial one, and look at all the artists that are on it and go to their Instagram account, you will see they have a very clean aesthetic. It's all kind of similar and it fits the genre of that playlist. Same as major blogs. If you go on to who they're premiering at the moment, you'll see that those artists have a very clean, professional looking Instagram. Instagram is now acting as a portfolio for you. So Go get a photographer, go get someone that can get great pictures of you that represent your brand, represent your genre. Because the feed, that's all it's for. Where you can be a bit more raw is on reels and stories. So we've covered feed, what about reels? What about stories? Well, your reels can be similar to TikTok content, but make sure you don't just download it from TikTok because if you have the watermark on it, Instagram will not push it out. And we've seen this firsthand. We've seen artists getting tens of thousands of views, but then they upload one from TikTok, gets less than a thousand. Your stories are where you can really be showing a bit of personality. Show your fans what you're all about, what you're doing every day. And it doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be jumping off a building. You just need to show them what you enjoy doing, who you are as an artist. And if that's just you in the studio with a cup of coffee, that's cool. If you are in those early stages of your account and you are struggling to bring in that initial audience, you can use things such as hashtags on your story, put those hashtags on, hide them off the screen, and you're more likely to bring in new fans from this. As well as this, bait people into engaging. Use polls, use Q and A's. Finally, with Instagram, you can be taking advantage of ads. Instagram story and Instagram real ads do perform incredibly well, especially as your sound is a lot more likely to be on than just your basic feed. I told you I had a bonus tip, so if you stuck around this long, thank you very much and put in the comments, I stuck around, so I deserve to do well. There are a lot of artists that say they wanna do well, but then don't really do anything about it, so nice one for actually watching. The final one is, YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts are gaining a lot of traction. YouTube are pushing them out massively to try and compete with Instagram Reels and TikTok. So going into 2023, we're really going to see these getting huge views. And there are artists out there that are getting bigger views from their shorts than any of their long form content. Unlike TikTok, you can only do 60 seconds. You can't go over that. But you can still take your reels and your TikTok content as long as there's no watermarks and put them onto YouTube Shorts. However, the main thing with YouTube Shorts is you can add a title so it can come up on people's homepage. So just like your long form content on YouTube, you really need to engage people. What can you put as a title that's going to be interesting? So say you've done a cover of a popular song in your own genre. You could put as the title, Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas as an R&B anthem. Or I sang insert song name, from the boy's perspective. Be creative, play around with things, explore things, and then really engage people with that title. Another great thing that YouTube's doing is they're allowing you to monetize YouTube Shorts now. So that could be huge money for artists going into 2023. And if you get on it now, you're competing with less musicians. As well as this, you can promote your long form content through the short form content. Because if you get new subscribers through Shorts, then your music video that comes out the week after is going to get more views. So that's it. That's how you can promote your music going into 2023. And if you're watching this in 2023, these are still things that you can take action on. But act fast so you're competing with less. You're ahead of the game. If you found this useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to join our membership, I will link it below and I'll see you in the next one.